Here we go, back again with a quick video on Christmas Eve. I hope that everybody out there is enjoying the Christmas Eve and I've been for my first COVID test, yes. Got up this morning, got a really bad head, felt all fluey and with it being Christmas and spending time with your family over Christmas Day with dinner and everything, I wanted to make sure I was okay so my COVID test will get back tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, touch wood, I'm okay. Yes, I felt terrible all day and it's snowing outside. It could be a white Christmas tomorrow. Never stop snowing all day. The grass is white, but the roads have all cleared. And every Christmas Eve, we always watch Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone. Absolutely fantastic. Love that movie. It's our Christmas tradition, Christmas Eve tradition, watching Home Alone with the kids and the bit where that spider climbs up his top and he gets that crowbar, smacks him across the chest. That cat, it's... <laughs> Oh god, even when I feel bad, it puts a smile on my face. I love Home Alone. A little bit of club statements just came out. Kirill Louis de Frasus. De Frasus? Kirill Louis de Frus. Frasus, yes, de Frasus. Well, here's a go. Here's a club statement. As you can see, I'm really enthusiastic about this video. I do apologise. I really need to go to sleep. But I thought I'd do this because I've had a, a message saying there's been a takeover. Of, of announcement of some kind of takeover. Well, Sunderland AFC can announce that an agreement has been reached for Kirill Louis Dreyfus to acquire Stuart Donald's controlling interest in the club. If approved by the AFL, the deal will see Louis Dreyfus will see Louis Dreyfus become chairman at the Wearside Club early in the new year. And I was just going on and on and on and on. I've passed Kevin, to be honest, but this is what Donald has to say. Donald's finally woken up and hey, he has a statement to say. It's been no secret that I have been looking for someone. Start again, shall we? Donald said, it's been no secret that I have been looking for some time to find the right person to take Sunderland forward. And during the course of the last year, there has been a lot of different people wanting to take over. However, even though it's a matter of public record that some of those bidders offered me more money, I felt that they offered the club less. Meaning they wanted to take over full control of Sunderland and Stuart Donald Duck wants to keep hold of some of those shares. So basically, he's full of shit. On Christmas Eve, he comes out with a statement and he's full of shit. Basically saying, other people wanted him out of the club altogether, but he wants to keep a few fingers inside some of the pies. So this is the deal he's taken. Letting this, you know, young lad, 22 year old, with the vast experience and the knowledge behind him of his years, that this is the guy he wants to, to own Sunderland because he can still have his fingers in the pies. That's all it is, basically. Nothing else. Stu Donald will not give up full control. He'll have some shares left over. This is why he's chosen this young lad. <sighs> right. From the early meetings with Kirill, his family and advisors, I have been greatly impressed with their knowledge and understanding learned over a long period as owners of a major football club in Belgium and France. I believe that experience combined with a good plan will provide a platform for the club to progress and I look forward to watching that progress from afar. Louis Dreyfus said first I would like to thank Stuart Donald for his integrity and reasonableness over the last three months, which has led to me having the opportunity to take and control stake in Sunderland AFC. I am fully aware of the efforts undertaken by the current ownership and board to protect the viability of the, di of the club and respect the difficulties of the task given. Sunderland recent past and the club economic climate. We respectfully await the AFL's approval And that's all I can be bothered to read. So, you know, 
It's what we already knew. Stu Donald selling some of his shares to Kirill Dreyfus and it will not be till the new year. So I don't understand why this has came out in the first place because nothing's changed. It's just stunt Donald saying a big Merry Christmas to Sunderland fans. I mean, I do wish Kirill Dreyfus all the best in the future. Kirill Louis Dreyfus all the best in the future. I do. I wish him all the best in the future. And I hope he has a successful Sunderland ownership career. But Donald will still be there in the background like a bad smell. Right. I hope you all enjoy your festive Christmas. Hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful Christmas day. Hope your family are all safe. I hope you stay all safe. And I hope you all stay COVID free. Right. I'm off to wrap a few presents up, then I'm going back to bed. Hey, right, good night. Take care. May your God go with you. <sighs> ah, and cheers. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a Happy New Year. <laughs>